Hi guys! So if you want to go from this straight hair to lovely blow dried hair but you can't because you find it difficult or like me the brush gets stuck in your hair as my hair is bleached it's kind of hard to get the brush through it when you twist the brush and it just gets all tangled up and you end up with a brush hanging in your hair so <laughs> I'm gonna use a hair straightener now the first thing I do is I section it in two sections and then I tie the section that I'm not doing up with a hairband just to get out of the way and then the section that I am using which is this side of my hair to start with I will then half again so these are the hair straighteners I'm using they are GHDs I will leave it linked down below and I also have this random babyliss heat proof mat thing that I got with some other curling iron which I'm going to use so I don't burn my desk so the first thing you want to do is grab a section and you want to basically go through your hair but as you start, you want to twist the hair straightener, as you can see there, in like a half motion and gradually go through your hair as if you're straightening it, but you're not really because you've twisted the hair straightener, which is going to curl it. If you can imagine getting scissors and scraping it across a ribbon and then it starts to curl, that's the kind of thing that the hair straightener will do, if that makes sense any sense whatsoever. <laughs> I hope it does. But you basically want to twist the hair straightener and slowly pull. And I say slowly because if you do it too fast it won't curl properly. So make sure you do pull it slowly and then twist it around your fingers just to help it curl a little bit extra and then that is how you curl it. You can, if you want to, do smaller sections and actually properly curl your hair like this, but because you want the drobe line, <laughs> the blow dried effect, you don't want to do too many sections because you want it to be big and bouncy rather than actually curly. So that hopefully explains it. Um, so that is the first section done. I'm then going to show you the second section, which I again half because. For me that's just what I find easier. If you have less hair or more hair you might want to do it in more sections but for this, for me this is fine. So now again I'm going to do the same thing but this time curl it the opposite way so it's going underneath now and this will just give you another curl. So hopefully you can see exactly what I'm doing. Each section that I take, you can tell that I'm not taking like the exact same size. I'm kind of changing it a bit, so I get one size that's maybe bigger, one size that's maybe a bit smaller, just so I get a different kind of curl rather than just all the same thing. And also I'm curling it the different way, which you can see there. And that is pretty much all you have to do. Because I have a kind of fringy bit at the front, you will see me like gradually take out my fringe and do my fringe separately. I do advise that because otherwise it would just get all messed up and you won't get that nice flick kind of effect which is what you'll see in a minute. It does work better if you have different layers in your hair because then you get the proper blow dry effect but you can still do it if you have no layers in your hair. So now you can see I'm doing my fringe. I kind of curl it slightly but not too much because I just want it to do that kind of flick effect. I don't want it to be an actual curl like the rest of it. And then I'll go back over it in a minute you'll see and just slightly do it again but not curl it. Uh, you'll see in a minute anyway. But that is literally it. So overall I would say it took me about 10 minutes to do which is really not a long time at all. It's definitely a great way to get your hair looking nice and bouncy in um, minutes, like 10 minutes really is all it took and you can probably do it faster than that um, depending on how many sections you do but yeah it's definitely a great easy quick hairdo and you really don't need to do much else to it like I didn't put any hairspray I didn't use any products I literally used my hair straighteners and that is it it has also lasted all day it dropped very slightly but not to the point where it doesn't still look like a blow dry so it's really great and it will probably last till the next day as well I might have to touch it up a little bit but that really isn't 
a big deal. So that is it for this video. As you can see, it's just pretty straightforward. It's such a great look and also you can see here when you put it up in a ponytail it also looks really pretty because the ends of your hair are all nice and curly. So thank you for watching this video, subscribe for more and I will see you in my next one.